One, two, three, four is my placing of this class of market lambs. I start my class off with a woolly leg lamb as he commands the attention of the class. Ideally, I would have liked to have seen my class winner leveler off the dock. Nonetheless, it is a one over two in my top pair. When evaluating him from the front end, he is the most elevated at his point of shoulder and latches him more correctly to his ribs. From there on, he gets progressively wider from forearm to foreleg, and when getting over his top, his ribs pop more out of his back. All in all, I'd expect him to harvest the most pounds of high quality product. I appreciate that too, it is firm and his line is on the move. However, I find him second, as when evaluating him from the profile, he is a tick hollow in his flank and long in his ribs. Even so, when moving to my intermediate pair, it is his robust body shape that places him over three. He is square and wide at, the, at his foundation and pulled apart in his top shape. When analyzing him from the rear, he is square in his muscle conformation through his hindquarters. And when looking down his top line, he is wider and flatter over his loin. Therefore, I'd expect him to open with a larger eye. I grant that three is leaner in his conformation. However, I find him third as he is sharper through his rack loin junction. In moving to my bottom pair, it is three over four. Here is a lamb who is expressive in his muscle pattern, crisp in his lines, and comes out into three solid muscular pieces on the set, and should hop or a carcass with a higher cut ability. I grant that four is angulated on the front end. However, he is hard made, compact, and conventional in his design, and should harvest the least pounds of product. Therefore, I find him last. Thank you.